Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part five of our series of session on cost center features of Tally of the playlist cost center. So in the last session, we understood how a cost center can be created and tracked for IT industry or computer software or hardware dealer. In this session, we will cover a couple of more industry scenarios just for you people to get an understanding of how we can leverage this feature of cost center for different organization or for different segments of businesses. So in this session, we will cover various industries and how they can indicatively have their cost centers for their tracking purpose. So we will go to a PowerPoint presentation where we will understand the various cost centers. Let us take examples of different business segments for us to understand the adoption of cost center in these industries. Business vertical, agency, dealership or distribution. These organizations would want to track the profitability or performance of the product line they are dealing. For example, a dealership in paint or paint as a product cost center. The next is dealership of plywood and the next is dealership in sanitary item or sanitary products. The next example, let us take a case of professional firm such as chartered accountants or tax consultants. These professionals render services to their clients on various domain. Let us say they want to track the revenues of each of the domain. Then their cost center could look something like this. Income tax consultancy, GST consultancy, audit and advisory services and conveyance. Now you must be wondering what this cost center of conveyance is. These professionals have to spend on behalf of their clients, which are generally reimbursed by the client. One such example is conveyance, where they can create cost centers of conveyance client-wise to track the total expenses incurred on behalf of any particular client. This helps to quickly ascertain the value and charge in the invoice. Other examples could be in the case of customs clearing, the professional make payment on behalf of their client like transportation, loading and unloading charges. Sometimes they also pay custom duty, etc. The next segment, if we consider doctors or medical professionals, the indicative cost center could be clinic income, hospital visit income, pharmacy income. Now let us take an example of how a program or a project or an event can be a cost center for tracking. Let's take an example of NGO which wants to know the total cost incurred for their various programs. The cost center will be handy here. The indicative cost centers for NGOs could be something like this. Program or project citizen engagement, program or project of rural development, a program of advocacy or reforms. From an organization's point of view, let us say an organization would want to track the cost of events that they conduct. Few examples of tracking cost center by an organization where they conduct some events. The indicative cost centers are a distributor meet, a dealer's meet or a wholesaler meet. The next use case scenario for an organization 
having multiple branches or multiple locations where they would want to track the performance of each branch the indicative cost centers could be for an organization bangalore branch mumbai branch and chennai branch and so on the same can further go into slightly a micro level of example in an organization they want to track area wise units example mg road branch jayanagar branch and indranagar branch or so on cost centers can also be used for tracking individuals let us take few examples companies who want to track sales performance of their sales team members where they want to know the total cost incurred on the individual and the amount of revenue contributed by each of the members an indicative cost center could be in the name of the resource that is sales person a sales person b and sales person c and so on another example of an organization where certain organization would want to track the amount of commission earned by each of the commission agent to ascertain their business performance examples or cost centers are commission agent a commission agent b commission agent c i hope this would have given you a fair idea of how different industries can use cost centers for their need and requirement now from the next session onwards we will be going into tally software and we will see various additional features or techniques that we can use for better management of cost centers so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much